How to get NFTs on Arbitrum Odyssey quick and easy tutorial. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having a great day. I bring you back with yet another crypto NFT related tutorial and in this video we're going to be discussing what Arbitrum is, what Arbitrum Odyssey is and what Arbitrum Odyssey provides us with, how it was made, what it does and how you can buy NFTs using Arbitrum Odyssey. I'm going to get you through all of those details. I'm going to take you through all of it and it may seem a bit complicated and complex because arbitrum is a bit before its time and it's not very advanced but i'm just going to take you through all of it and it's going to be very simple and easy and uh, you're going to successfully know how to buy arbitrum and use it to buy different nfts on arbitrum odyssey so just sit back relax watch the video throughout till the end and just listen carefully to my steps and yeah you're going to be good to go because by the end of this video you're going to properly know how to buy nfts so without further ado uh let's get right into it so first of all what we're going to need to realize or uh know is what arbitrum really is so we're just going to go and write what is arbitrum so if you write what is arbitrum we can see that arbitrum network is a layer 2 functionality developed by the new york based company offchain labs which seeks to solve the congestion that the ethereum network has been experiencing by improving how smart contracts are validated so you can say that arbitrum is just like neighbor software of ethereum so it was made to make the complications of ethereum a bit lesser and what is Arbitrum used for? Arbitrum aims to reduce transaction fees and congestions by moving as much computation and data storage off of Ethereum's main blockchain as it can. Because obviously the Ethereum blockchain is highly populated and they just don't want to populate it more. So they're just slowly removing as much as they can off of it. So once now that we've realized what Arbitrum really is and what it does, we're going to get into how you can start buying it. Now, Arbitrum is obviously a totally different. It's a layer two blockchain and it's not available on your basic exchange websites like uh, you can not find it on Coinbase, KuCoin. You can find it on Binance, uh, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm even going to show you how you can get it through Binance. But uh, you can not find it on Coinbase, KuCoin, because it's just not available on a lot of exchange websites. So I'm going to show you the two basic ways how you can buy the uh, Arbitrum coin. And that is either on Binance or the main Arbitrum website, which I'm going to get you in right now. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. And then obviously later on, I'm going to explain how you can use those Arbitrum coins to buy NFTs from Arbitrum Odyssey. So like, let's first of all, go ahead and buy the Arbitrum coin. Now, for the Arbitrum coin, you're going to go to this website called bridge.arbitrum.io. So, we're just going to click on that and we're going to load ourselves up into this link. Now, once we come over here, obviously, I have my wallet connected. But what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to connect your wallet with this website. So, it's you can either connect your MetaMask your coinbase wallet or your nami wallet i have all three of them you can connect either one of them i connected my coinbase wallet and once you connect that what happens is uh, obviously you're going to need to have some kind of fiat currency or assets in your coinbase wallet if you want to make transactions so they're saying you want to change it from arbitrum one now you can change it from the main net balance you can uh skip the bridge and just go directly into your different uh, cryptocurrencies but like you can change it from ethereum to any other but obviously we're going to use the ethereum blockchain right now and from arbitrum one if you go uh, to the mainnet uh, what mainnet does is mainnet is the main blockchain of ethereum you have and two arbitrum one is obviously the arbitrum coin so let's say from the main net or the main blockchain you have uh let's say 900 ethereum coins in your coinbase wallet and then what you can do is you can convert it to this and that will convert this to your arbitrum one funds and then you can just move the funds to your coinbase wallet and what that will do is it will automatically give you arbitrum coins 
and from there on out you can start buying your nfts from arbitrum odyssey now this is obviously one way to get arbitrum coins the other is to obviously use the most used exchange website there is and that's binance now on binance obviously if you're not familiar with how to use it there are videos that i have made on my channel where i have talked a lot about binance you can go and check that out but uh, if i were to show you a small uh, overlay of how you do it you just you either go on uh, markets or you can just go on buy crypto and uh, you can just go on any one of these cards it's gonna be credit or debit or you can just do bank deposit whatever you like i'm gonna do credit card we're just gonna wait for this to load up and once it loads up you're gonna add your fiat currency over here if you don't know what fiat currency is fiat currency is your national currency or the currency of the country you're living in so you're just gonna put that here and what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and over here you're going to search the Arbitrum coin. So the Arbitrum coin should be anywhere around here and you're just going to choose it. You're going to put in the amount of currency you want. So for example, you're just going to put in a random fiat currency and it's going to convert it to those uh, Arbitrum coins. And then you're just going to put in your uh, details for your card. And yeah, that's how easy it is to get those Arbitrum coins. And then you can just use your Binance exchange wallet to... Uh, send it to your coinbase wallet and once your coinbase wallet has uh, those arbitrum coins then you can go right ahead and start using the arbitrum odyssey to buy nfts so let's get into arbitrum odyssey now so what is arbitrum odyssey now they have different websites so if we go on this website this is the website where they have discussed what the Arbitrum Odyssey project really is. Now, the Arbitrum Odyssey is in collaboration with Ratwell and Project Galaxy. And here they say, do you like free mint NFTs? And et cetera, et cetera. You can read this over here and we can see we are excited to announce a collaboration with Ratwell to invite users to explore different parts of the Arbitrum ecosystem from bridging to DeFi, which is decentralized financials, all the way to NFTs and gaming. This will be a two month long initiative and it's gone much longer than that for your information. It's it wasn't a two month. It's gone much longer because it was just that successful. Now you come down here, you can see the teams that have worked with this. Now, obviously, Ave is one of the most famous lenders there is. So you can just check all of these different projects that work with this and uh, you can see their journey, how it began and all uh, the hardships and the steps they went through about Arbitrum. It's a trustless security, security rooted in Ethereum, compatibility with Ethereum, scalability, minimum cost, obviously. And yeah, this is basically the overlay, overlay of the Arbitrum Odyssey project. Now, that was just the overlay. Now, if you want to get into how you can start buying NFTs, we're going to go to this link, which is galaxy.com and OpenSea.io. Now, these two are the links where you can buy your NFTs using your Arbitrum coins. Now, obviously, as you see, once I open that, it automatically opened up my MetaMask wallet because it's going to ask me for uh, the login because it's obviously going to ask me to would draw funds from my metamask wallet to buy the nfts so i'm just going to close that for now i don't really need that so once you come here uh on this website OpenSea, there's just the enter the odyssey uh different types of nfts if you want to buy these you can just click on them add to cart and then you can just simply buy them what that will do is then that will take the nft in uh, either a few hours or a few days, depending on uh, how quickly the user sends it to you, you're going to see your NFTs in your NFT bar. And once you go here, you're going to see your NFTs right here. And when it comes to this place, the Galaxy one, uh, you can get one NFT by connecting any one of these wallets. Now, these are third party wallets like Bangsa or seller dg these are third party ones if you want to connect these you can but obviously these cost you i not connect that i just connect my odyssey wallet so if you go and connect and look it says connect your coinbase wallet you're going to click on that and once you do that it's going to load up a bit and there you go connect to website and then we're just going to connect it and once it's successfully connected you can see that it automatically detects you it uh says if you want to select a network you can either select ethereum or the bnb chain obviously we're going to select arbitrum because that's what we used 
So the Arbitrum coins that we're going to have in our Coinbase wallet, we're going to start using that to uh, buy our different NFTs over here. So obviously, we're just going to come here and we're going to go on any one of these. And once you go on any one of these, what's going to happen is it's going to give you tons and tons of different NFTs. So uh, let's say I'll just go on any one of these. And what happens is look at that it starts giving you nfts if you go on nft contracts it gives you these different NFTs. you can just click on them once you click on them you can make your transactions and once you make your transactions you're successfully gonna buy those nfts and they are gonna come right here and get deposited in your coinbase wallet as i said in the nft section so yeah that's basically the gist of it and that's how you can use arbitrum odyssey to buy different nfts so if you have any issues or queries related to this video let me know down in the comments below and i'll help you as soon as i can if you want to see more videos related to crypto or nfts or different wallets you can let me know and um yeah, until then, uh, just like the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. Comment something nice on the video if you liked it. And uh, please make sure to share it around with anyone who wants to know about crypto or exchange websites or wallets or NFTs. I'm their guy. So, yeah, uh, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That's all from me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.